now say properties of definite integral properties of definite integral see first property is if given function is an odd function if f is an odd function that means what that is if f of minus x equal to minus fx if f of minus x equal to minus fx then function is odd function then definite integral of fx over minus e to a see lower and upper limit are opposite numbers if lower and upper limit are opposite numbers and fx is an odd function its integral is zero see application of this rule in this question so here lower and upper limit are opposite numbers so let me check does this function satisfy this property that we check so we say here fx is sin raised to 7x it is fx replacing x by minus x replacing x by minus x this is sin raised to say 1 minus x replace x by minus x so this is sin of minus x raised to say 1 sin of minus x raised to say 1 now sin of minus x equal to minus sin x and because this odd power this is minus sin x raised to say 1 so it is minus fx this is fx so see f of minus x is minus fx f of minus x is minus fx so this function is an odd function therefore therefore minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 sin raised to 7x with respect to x it is equal to by this rule direct put 0 whenever f of minus x is minus of fx integral is 0 if upper and lower limit are opposite numbers now say here similarly here these are opposite numbers we say this is fx fx equal to x raised to 2021 cos 4x this is fx now we replace x by minus x replacing x by minus x here replacing x by minus x minus x raised to 2021 into cos is to 4 of minus x now say here power is odd minus x raised to odd power so it is minus x raised to 2021 odd power of negative number is negative this is cos of minus x raised to 4 now we know that cos minus theta is cos theta cos itself is an even function so minus x is to 2021 into cos of minus theta is cos theta this is cos x raised to 4 because cos minus theta is cos theta so it is minus x raised to 2021 into cos raised to 4x so this is minus now you can see that this is fx minus fx 
so f of minus x is minus fx so this function is odd function so integral is zero therefore this function is an odd function so therefore minus 1 to 1 fx dx fx dx its integral is 0 by this rule then second property if function is an even function that is f of minus x equal to fx even function so f of minus x equal to fx if any function satisfies this property is it, it is said to be even function then minus a to a fx dx equal to if upper and lower limit are opposite numbers then integral is 2 times 0 to a fx dx only here benefit is that this number which is negative as a lower limit on the right hand side it is converted into 0 by putting here 2 so 2 times 0 to a fx dx so when we calculate value when putting a lower limit first we keep upper limit upper limit minus lower limit so when we keep lower limit in integral because it is zero calculation becomes easy so these are two properties now on this property this question say so here these are opposite numbers if lower and upper limit are opposite number always check what happens f of minus x is minus fx or f of minus x is plus fx what is happening that we check so say here fx is cos x replacing x by minus x replacing x by minus x this is cos theta so f of minus x equal to now say it is nothing but fx it is fx so f of minus x is fx so this function is an even function so this function is an even function so by rule therefore minus pi by 4 to pi by 4 cos x dx equal to 2 times 2 times 0 to pi by 4 cos x dx so here 2 times 0 to pi by 4 that is 2 times integral of cos x is sin x 0 to pi by 4 that is 2 times sin pi by 4 minus sin 0 so 2 into 1 by root 2 minus 0 so value is root 2 now see here upper and lower limit are opposite numbers observe this function say this part is odd function this part is odd function this part is odd function one is even function so what we do we are separating this part from one so this can be written as minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 x cube plus x cos x plus 10 raised to 5x dx plus 1 dx minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 
integral of fx plus gx dx is integral of fx dx plus integral of gx dx now see we take this function as fx this is like fx if we replace x by minus x replacing x by minus x it is minus x cube putting here minus x replacing x by minus x cos of minus x 10 raised to 5 minus x x is replaced by minus x so it is minus x cube plus minus x into cos of x cos of minus x is cos x 10 of a minus x is minus 10 x raised to 5 10 of minus x is minus 10 x and raised to 5 so it is equal to minus x cube minus x cos x minus 10 raised to 5 x taking minus common x cube plus x cos x plus 10 raised to 5 x so this is fx so this first part we have, we have taken this part as fx so this first part has integral 0 so therefore f is an even uh, an odd function f is an odd function therefore minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 fx dx is 0 so this term is 0 so required integral is therefore required integral is 0 plus minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 1 dx that is integral of 1 is x so it is pi by 2 minus minus pi by 2 so value is pi so this was examples on odd function and even function if upper and lower limits are opposite numbers now more properties say integral of fx over a to b equal to if we change this variable of integration instead of x if i keep here t instead of x if i keep a t no change in limit then value remains unchanged value of a definite integral is not dependent on a variable because definite integral is free from variable so you use x or t or theta answer is answer remains same as for example suppose 1 to 2 x square dx its value is x cube by 3 1 2 2 that is 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 answer is 7 by 3 now instead of x i use t previously this was fx dx now same function f t d t so only symbol is change only symbol is changed instead of x t is used dx dt x is replaced by t only symbol of variable is change x is replaced by t like this then see what is effect on value so t cube by 3 2 1 2 2 now when we substitute upper limit so it takes place of t 
so 8 by 3 minus 1 by 3 so value is same so remember in definite integral if we replace any given variable by some another variable then value remains same no effect on value so that is a property second property e to b fx dx equal to now if i interchange lower and upper limit lower limit i keep b upper limit i keep a then these two numbers are not equal they are additive inverse of each other so to join them by sign of equality here keep minus third property if a less than c less than b then a to b fx dx a to b fx dx is see a to b a to b fx dx so it is a to c a to c fx dx plus c to b fx dx that is third property a to c c to b you can insert here so many numbers suppose if i insert here c1 and c2 so what we should take here a to c1 then c1 to c2 then c2 to b so it can be applicable in general for many numbers between a and c then if lower limit is 0 upper limit is a lower limit is 0 upper limit is a then 0 to a fx dx is 0 to a if we replace this x by a minus x see what i am doing 0 to a 0 to a as it is just i kept here space for x so if i replace this x by a minus x then this function will be changed but over this same interval their definite integral values will remain same so remember this very important rule maximum times this will be used 0 to a fx dx is 0 to a f of a minus x dx then fifth rule a to b fx dx is a to b f of x dx see what i am doing i replace x by a plus b minus x x is replaced by a plus b a plus b minus x value remains unchanged so now onwards in exercise maximum sums are on these results then one more result sixth result 0 to 2a f of x dx equal to 0 to a fx dx plus 0 to 2a f of 2a minus x dx 0 to 2a say upper limit is 2a lower limit is 0 this 2a does not mean that it is always even number if your upper limit is 8 so a is 4 if upper limit is 2 pi that means a is pi but if upper limit is 7 so what is a 7 by 2 so this can be also odd number so 2a is 7 so a is 7 by 2 so here we keep half so meaning of this statement is whatever value is here put here it's 
हाफ जीरो टू ए सॉरी हेयर जीरो टू ए हेयर वी केप हाफ ऑफ दिस नंबर दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट हेयर केप एफ एक्स डी एक्स हेयर एफ ऑफ टू ए माइनस एक्स डी एक्स नाउ सी समटाइम्स वॉट एपन्स इफ एफ ऑफ टू ए माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस एफ एक्स एफ ऑफ टू ए माइनस एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस एफ एक्स सी एस फॉर एग्जाम्पल साइन ऑफ टू पाई माइनस एक्स इज माइनस साइन एक्स एफ ऑफ टू ए माइनस एक्स इज माइनस एफ एक्स लाइक दिस सो देर आर सो मेनी फंक्शन सेटिस्फाइंग सच प्रॉपर्टी सो एफ ऑफ टू ए माइनस एक्स is minus f x then 0 to 2a f x d x equal to putting here minus f x this will be opposite so value will be 0 and if f of 2a minus x Equal to f x. F of two a minus x is f x. Then zero to two a f x d x equal to putting here f x. F of two a minus x is f x. So this will be double. So two times zero to a f x d x. So these are properties now. Uh, we are going to apply these properties in questions we want to find integral of this function over 0 to pi by 2 see when lower limit is 0 lower limit is 0 upper limit is a then just we discussed a property that 0 to a fx dx this x can be replaced by this x it can be replaced by a minus x so in the such type of questions in such type of integrands where upper limit is a pi by 2 lower limit is 0 and function is trigonometric function almost this will be will be used so see here Uh, we say this is i i is 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 3 by 2x upon sin raised to 3 by 2x plus cos raised to 3 by 2x dx this is i now applying this rule consider these as fx 0 to a f x d x. Now what I am doing? I am replacing x by e minus x. Here is a. So replacing x everywhere, wherever is x, I am replacing x by pi by 2 minus x. So 0 to pi by 2. Now here. these are places for x i am replacing x by pi by 2 minus x sin raised to 3 by 2 pi by 2 minus x sin raised to 3 by 2 pi by 2 minus x pi by 2 minus x dx so everywhere wherever here x is given we replace x by pi by 2 minus x pi by 2 minus x pi by 2 minus x this number minus x a minus x 0 to a fx dx so x is replaced by e minus x so application of this property so doing this here say 0 to pi by 2 now this is cos x So cos x is two three by two. This is cos x. Cos is converted into sine. Sine is two three by two x dx. 
now look here we say this is equation 1 this is equation 1 and this is equation 2 this is value of i now look here observe this denominators in 1 and 2 denominators are same and whenever you get same denominator add 1 and 2 so now i am adding 1 and 2 at the step where you get similar denominator ditto denominator add that step with the first step so i plus i now adding 1 and 2 i plus i is 2i 0 2 pi by 2 0 2 pi by 2 so keep common 0 2 pi by 2 in addition denominator is lcm it remains same sin of 3 by 2x cos of 3 by 2x in addition denominator is same we keep as it is add numerator sin is to 3 by 2x and here numerator is cos is to 3 by 2x so after adding 1 and 2 now you can see that these numbers are same so this will be cancelled so it is 1 so therefore 2i is equal to 0 2 pi by 2 1 dx so 2i is integral of 1 is x 0 2 pi by 2 so 2i is pi by 2 minus 0 that is pi by 2 so i is pi by 4 similarly this question can be solved say integral is 0 to pi by 2 sec raised to 15x upon sec raised to 15x plus cosec raised to 15x dx lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi by 2 whenever lower limit is 0 upper limit is pi by 2 and such a trigonometric function given we apply this rule so replace here x by pi by 2 minus x so replacing x by pi by 2 minus x 0 2 pi by 2 sec of 15 power pi by 2 minus x sec of 15 power pi by 2 minus x cosec of 15 power pi by 2 minus x dx so it is equal to 0 2 pi by 2 now sec pi by 2 minus x is cosec x raised to 15 sec pi by 2 minus x is cosec x this will be sec x dx this is i this is i now see at the step where you get same denominator which is in the beginning see denominator is now same so add that step with first step so adding 1 and 2 adding 1 and 2 i plus i is 2i 2i 0 2 pi by 2 0 2 pi by 2 common 0 2 pi by 2 denominator in addition we keep as it is if it is same and here it is same so we keep as it is sec raised to 15x plus cosec raised to 15x sec raised to 15x cosec raised to 15x say numerator these two are added denominator is same 
so we add numerators so doing this procedure now this becomes simple and easiest integrable it is 1 this will be cancelled so 0 to pi by 2 1 dx so therefore 2i is equal to integral of 1 is x 0 to pi by 2 so 2i is pi by 2 therefore i is pi by 4 it is required integral now see in this question 0 is lower limit upper limit is 1 and here you can see it is 1 minus x here numerical value can be changed if suppose I keep here suppose I am putting here c1 so I keep here c1 similarly any value can be changed if I keep here 2 so this can be taken as 2 like this so see again using that rule 0 to a lower limit is 0 upper limit is a then this x can be replaced by a minus x to get in uh, integrable form if you keep this as it is then its integral is very difficult raised to n so its integral has n plus 1 terms n is unknown using a binomial theorem you have to expand there are n plus 1 terms integral of every term so procedure becomes very lengthy or difficult sometimes impossible so to get the value by easiest way this is the tool so here replacing x by replacing x by a minus x x is replaced by 2 minus x here x is replaced by 2 minus x x is replaced by 2 minus x so here 2 minus x is taken here 2 minus x is taken so wherever x is given x is replaced by 2 minus x x 2 minus x so it is 0 to 2 now this is 2 minus x into it is x raised to n this 2 2 will be cancelled so x raised to n 2 minus 2 plus x so x raised to n is left now here we can expand 0 to 2 2 into x raised to n minus x raised to n plus 1 dx see after applying this rule after applying rule whatever we are getting expansion has only two terms but before applying this rule if you try to expand this then this expansion will have n plus 1 terms so lengthy expression but here it is becoming very short and simple so now putting integral 2 into integral of x is to n is x is to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus integral of x is to n plus 1 is x is to n plus 2 upon n plus 2 here lower limit is 0 upper limit is 2 so this is 2 into 2 raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1 minus 2 raised to n plus 2 upon n plus 2 so here 2 is replaced upper limit 2 2 2 is taken minus minus if you put lower limit so this will be 0 0 minus 0 if you keep so it will be 0 so no need to keep uh, no need to show this calculation 
सो दिस इज टू रेस टू एन प्लस टू सो टू रेस टू एन प्लस टू इज कॉमन इन टू ब्रैकेट वन अपॉन एन प्लस वन माइनस वन अपॉन एन प्लस टू सो इट इज इक्वल टू टू रेस टू एन प्लस टू कॉमन इन टू ब्रैकेट एल सी एम इज एन प्लस वन इंटू एन प्लस टू हियर एन प्लस टू माइनस एन प्लस वन सो इट इज इक्वल टू हियर एन एन विल बी कैंसल टू माइनस वन इज वन सो टू रेस टू एन प्लस टू इंटू वन इज टू रेस टू एन प्लस टू अपॉन एन प्लस वन इंटू एन प्लस टू दिस इज रिक्वायर्ड इंटीरियल नाउ से इन दिस क्वेश्चन वन टू फोर वन टू फोर एंड यू कैन सी हियर नंबर इज फाइव वन प्लस फोर इज फाइव सो ऑब्जर्विंग दिस पैटर्न ऑब्जर्विंग दिस डिजाइन वी कैन गेट हिंट दैट देर इज अ प्रॉपर्टी दैट कैन बी अप्लाइड एंड द प्रॉपर्टी इज से दिस प्रॉपर्टी If lower limit is a, upper limit is b, its value is a to b. X can be replaced by a plus b minus x. Here x can be replaced by a plus b minus x. So in this question, we shall replace x by a plus b minus x. so let me say this is i it is i now what we do we replace this x everywhere wherever x is given now we replace it by 1 plus 4 minus x so 1 plus 4 minus x a plus b minus x so replacing x by 1 plus 4 minus x 1 plus 4 minus x and here also 1 plus 4 minus x 1 plus 4 minus x here 1 plus 4 minus x here 1 plus 4 minus x x is replaced by a plus b minus x so it is equal to 1 to 4 This is root five minus x upon square root of five minus x plus square root of this five five will be cancelled minus minus plus x dx. Now see, we are getting same denominator. Look here, denominator is same. So. we are going to add 1 and 2 where you get denominator same say that equation 2 so adding 1 and 2 so adding 1 and 2 adding 1 and 2 i plus i is 2i 2i is 1 2 4 Say so denominator is same, so this is LCM. LCM is root x plus root five minus x. Only numerator will be added. Here first numerator root x, second numerator is root five minus x. So now it is one, one two four. This is one one dx. Or keep only dx. So it is equal to integral of one is x. One to four. So this is four minus one. It is three. Three is value of two i. Two i is three. Therefore, i is three by two. In this type of problem, answer is. Difference of these two numbers b minus a by two, say four minus one by two.
0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus 10 x dx. Say lower limit is 0. So again we replace x by a minus x. Upper limit is pi by 4. So we are going to replace x by pi by 4 minus x. So in the beginning let me say this function uh, this value is i. i is 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus 10 x dx. Now replacing x by pi by 4 minus x. Here x pi by 4 minus x. So wherever x is in function, x is replaced by a minus x. Now simplifying this, 0 to pi by 4 log of 1 plus, now 10 of alpha minus beta. So 10 alpha minus 10 beta upon 1 plus 10 alpha into 10 beta. 10 pi by 4 minus 10x upon 1 plus 10 pi by 4 10x dx that is 0 to pi by 4 log of now taking LCM here LCM is 1 plus 10x 1 plus 10x into 1 is 1 plus 10x plus 1 minus 10x dx this will be cancelled so it is equal to 0 to pi by 4 log of 2 upon 2 upon 1 plus 10x dx Now, log a by b, log a minus log b, 0 to pi by 4, log a minus log b, now see applying this uh, uh, rule of log, we are, uh, we can see that we are going to get this expression, i. Again, we are going to get this expression. So now separating the symbol log 2 into 0 to pi by 4 dx minus 0 to pi by 4 log 1 plus 10x dx. Now this is i. So putting back i. So it is log 2 into integral of 1 is x. 0 to pi by 4 minus this is i it is i so put i so therefore i is equal to log 2 into pi by 4 minus 0 minus i so 2i is equal to minus i we are taking on this side 2i is pi by 4 log 2 so i is equal to pi by 8 log 2 this is required integral 0 to pi x dx upon 1 plus sin x say let me start this is i 0 to pi x dx upon 1 plus sin x because of x this is not integrable if we are given only 1 upon 1 plus sin x then it is integrable but because of this x this is not integrable so to convert this into integral form we use here property that replace x by pi minus x lower limit is 0 so applying rule replacing x by pi minus x here pi minus x so it is 0 to pi 
pi minus x upon 1 plus sin of pi minus x is sin x. So see, denominator in 1 and 2 are same. And where we get same denominator, we add them. So adding 1 and 2, adding 1 and 2, i plus i is 2i, 0, 2 pi, x plus pi minus x, numerator plus numerator upon denominator is LCM, 1 plus sin x. So 1 and 2 are added. So this x, x cancel. So this is 0, 2 pi and pi is constant pi upon 1 plus sin x dx so it is this is pi taking outside 0 to pi 1 upon 1 plus sin x we want to integrate this function so to integrate this multiply and divide by 1 minus sin x now whatever is required further procedure for integration so it is equal to 0 to pi 1 minus sin x upon 1 plus sin 1 minus sin is 1 minus sin square that is cos square x So pi 0 to pi. Now 1 by cos square x is sec square x minus sin x by cos square x is keep sec x into tan x. Sin by cos square is sec x into tan x. Now these are integrable. Integral of sec square x is tan x integral of sec x into tan x is sec x 0 to pi now putting values upper limit and lower limit see here putting pi tan pi tan pi minus sec pi this is upper limit minus lower limit tan 0 minus sec 0 so this is pi into 10 pi 0 sec pi is minus 1 minus 10 0 is 0 minus minus plus sec 0 is 1. So this is 1 plus 1 2 pi 2i is 2 pi 2i is 2 pi so i is equal to pi integral is pi so here 0 to pi by 2 let me say this is i i is 0 to pi by 2 sin x minus cos x upon 1 plus sin x cos x now replacing x by pi by 2 minus x replacing x by pi by 2 minus x pi by 2 minus x x is replaced wherever x is given we replace pi by 2 minus x upon 1 plus sine of pi by 2 minus x cos of pi by 2 minus x zero to a f x dx is zero to a f of a minus x dx so it is equal to zero to pi by two now this is cos x minus sin x upon one plus cos x into sin x dx now look this is one this is two denominator are same and observe also numerator numerator are opposite numbers so if i take here minus common 
taking minus common this is sin x minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x sin x dx so what is it it is i so i is equal to minus i i is minus i so 2i is 0 so integral is 0